Hello, Type Trace here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create character styles in Adobe InDesign. So far further ado, let's get right into it. So as you can see, I have some text right here. And let's say that I actually want to create a character style. We can actually do that in a few easy steps. The text I have been using here is actually a paragraph style. And in InDesign, we actually both have paragraph styles and character styles, and even object styles. And the difference between paragraph and character styles is that paragraph styles is for an entire line, while character styles is only for words. So you can see that I have actually created a paragraph style for this line. But let's say that we want to format only this word right here. We can just start to do that. So just go over right here. Let's just make this regular. So now we cannot use a paragraph style because paragraph styles have to be the same for the entire line. And in this example, we will actually use a character style. So to create a character style for this word right here, the first thing you want to do is to select it and then open the character styles panel. If you cannot see the character style panel, you can find it up in window and you go down to styles and in here you can actually find all of the styles panels. So just select the character styles right here. You can also use the keyboard shortcut shift F11 and it will appear right here. So when that is open, you want to go over right here with the three lines and choose new character style. The first option we have right here is the style name. So we can just call this character style example, just like this. If we go down to general, we can choose if we want to base our character style on another style we have created. In this example, we only have this one character style, so it isn't really relevant. And if we just go a step further down, we have the shortcut. So you can actually choose a shortcut for this character style. So let's say you'll be using this character style a lot in your document. This can be really helpful. And then just choose down right here, apply style to selection. So that means that when you have selected your text and press OK, the character style will be active. So just press OK right here. And as you can see in our character styles panel, we have our style right here. And if I just choose none again, it is removed and I can just select our style. And now you have actually created a character style. And let's say that I want to change something about this style. You can always double click on it in the character style panel and it will bring this panel up. And in here you can just change whatever you would like. Let's say that you want to change the, that could be size. We only want this in nine points. We can just choose this. And if you have selected preview, you can actually see the changes while you are creating them. Let's say this is just fine. We can now just press OK. And the changes has now been made to our character style. If you don't want to go into the character style every time you want to change something, you can actually just change it right here. So let's just go back to normal. And you can see that if you change your character style, there will appear a little plus icon right here. And that actually just means that there is an update for our style. So we want to update this because we have changed it. And the way you do that is by actually just right click on it and choose redefine style. And our character style has now been updated and changed. So yeah, if you want to see if your character style works, you can actually just create some text right here. Let's just write character style. We can just choose a paragraph style right here. And let's just try to select a word go into the character style panel and select the character style we have created right here. And as you can see, it works just as you would like. So yeah, that is how to create character styles in Adobe InDesign. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. That was all for now. See you in the next one.